feed claw. Which is this stuff here. You don't need this anymore, but just so you know, it's, it's just generic cheese claw. I'm going to use the whole pad because I'm only going to put one stain on this, so. Red dye. Make sure you shake it up really good. Make sure again you wipe this down with tacky cloth. So make sure you get all the loose stuff off. Open this. A couple of dabs. Not going to take much. That. I wish I had gloves, but I don't. But anyway, you take that, start wiping it in. Don't worry about it having too much because what it does in the absorb, it'll just wipe off. So, let's go ahead and put some there too. Just make even, smooth strokes like that. Try to use as much of it as you can. And I'm going to try to get it in the creases there so it doesn't look like a sloppy job when somebody looks at the gun. I'm going to stick my fingers in there. And do that. Just kind of go with the uh, grain of the wood. I need to get a little bit more dye there. Okay. You see the wood, because it's laminate, doesn't want to take it very well. But, do it enough times. Just be a little patient. It'll suck it in absorb it in right there. Like I said, I'm only going to do one coat because I think if I do too much it's going to be too dark. And it's not going to look as realistic. I just smooth it out like that so that, you know, it gets in there. It doesn't clump up. Oh, that's a spot there. Look at that. And we'll get in there too. Just to be consistent. Well, doesn't that look a lot better? Who would have thought you could use red dye for this? I saw people talking about this on YouTube and I thought they were insane. I thought they'd lost their minds. But look at it. It looks great. Look at that. Couldn't have asked for a better stain if I'd done it to get someone else to do, I guess. All right, now I'm going to try to get it in here. We'll leave it there for a second so we can get that. As you can see, there's a big difference in color here. Okay. Maybe it took five minutes, if that. And not that much at all. I'm going to get a lot of dye on my hands, but like I said, whatever the wood doesn't absorb, you can just kind of wipe off there. Look at that. God, that looks great. I don't want to overdo it too much here. Let's just get the loose stuff off. Trying to get some on the top here. Right where the hand guard rail is on the edge. And then as you can see, that's the spot there. Just wipe it on like that. And wipe off the excess so you don't have too many loose strands. But I mean, look at that. It looks great. I'm going to wipe that off. There's that piece. 
is this piece here. I might do this a little bit more. I was kind of heavy on this. You can see it's not a whole whole lot even, or not very even, but I'm going to do this a little bit. Okay. Just one last bit of information. Getting these little corners here is really hard. In fact, I may try to get some in there, but it's getting dye onto this part here. I'm putting a second coat that I don't want. So what I did was basically just make sure I get some here, just for looks. Try to get as much as I could here without adding another coat here by accident. And that's it. And then did some here as well. Back here. Get a little darkness there. And wipe the excess off. So that's it. That's all she wrote for now. So we'll go back to this after it sits for overnight. And then we'll add the first coat of tongue oil. Ta-da! Note to self, get um, <laughs> gloves next time. I have some gloves, I just can't find them, but that dye is going to get all over your hands. Something to keep in mind. Anyway. Okay, day two. As you can see, the stain is fairly well uh, sealed or, or soaked into the wood now, so I'm going to wipe it down with this tacky cloth again. Get any loose burrs off. Where it matters at least. There. See some of that came off. Some of the stain's going to come off as you're rubbing it off, but that's okay. You'll be able to... You'll just take the loose stuff off, basically. Like that. Rub it like that. And I'll use the other side. Okay. I got some dye off, but that's okay. It's still pretty red. As you can see here. Okay. Now we're going to use this tongue oil. I can get it off here. Flathead. This is Form B's furniture wood workshop. Uh, the ten, the uh, it's like sixteen or fourteen ounces, or uh, yeah, sixteen fluid ounces. So there we go. Took some cheesecloth. I cut some of the stuff that I didn't use from yesterday, so I can not waste it. We're going to do the same thing we did with this. Just grab it. And just wipe it in like this. Pretty powerful stuff. I wouldn't be smoking while I'm using this. It's uh, very strong. So we'll just take that. 